All right, good morning. It's day three. Uh, got up a little early today, probably around 6.30, and leaving uh, Herd Brook shelter where I was at last night. And today's a little bigger day, around 19, 19 miles to Wadley Stream uh, shelter. So that's where I'm headed today. The elevation is a little bit more. Um, it'll be, I think, 2,700 feet of elevation. So a lot different than yesterday. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably stop at a, there's a lookout about two miles up Rainbow Ledges. So I'll probably stop there. And I already made my oatmeal for the day. So that's going to be ready by the time I get there so I'll sit up there and have my breakfast. So I just got to the rainbow ledges a few miles into my day. I'm gonna stop and have breakfast and just enjoy this view of Katahdin. Breakfast as I already mentioned cold soak, oats, chia seeds, cranberries, instant milk in a jar. So that's been soaking for um, about an hour now, so that's definitely ready. Uh, so I'm gonna enjoy that and take in this view and then keep on going. You can kind of see it, the first animal on the trail. It's like a little grouse. I'll probably scare it as I walk up. Yeah, that's about as close as I could get. So I made it to Rainbow. Rainbow Lake now, which is right next to me. Um, figured I'd show y'all what I'm doing for coffee on this trip. Um, pretty much, I'm just using the instant uh, Folgers or Folgers or Nestle. I'm not sure which one. The cheap instant coffee in every supermarket. Um, use that, and I just put it in a water bottle and shake it up. And you can see it right here. It doesn't look too good. But it gets super foamy, so I'm calling it my, uh, what's the Starbucks drink, the cold foam, cold foam latte or a <laughs> cold brew with a sweet foam, something like that. Uh, but yeah, I had it yesterday, it was pretty good. So it gets the caffeine in, um, and again, since I'm not bringing a stove with me, I can't make hot coffee. Uh, but... Right now, because the weather's so good, I don't really mind. I think later on in the trip I will want a stove for hot drinks. But right now it's it's pretty good, so I'm gonna drink this. And so today I've probably seen around five uh, northbounders and I'm just gonna northbounders just means they started in Georgia ending in Maine I'm just gonna say Nobo uh, Nobos for the rest of the vlog um, so I saw a few Nobos today and it's unbelievable they all have the same exact <laughs> kind of grizzled look in their eyes um, you can tell they've been through been through it and are just ready to summit. Um, one group, I think they said they got through 100 mile wilderness in three and a half days. Um, and yeah, they just have that stare where they're not even kind of looking at you. They're just looking ahead and you can tell they just, they want to finish. They know Katahdin is right around the corner and they're going to be finished with the through hike. So uh, for me, on day three, um, seeing that is a good motivation because I want to have that same kind of same kind of look on the other end. So that's been pretty cool to see today. This stretch of trail from. 
I guess it's a mile from the Rainbow Rainbow Springs lean-to. It's probably been the most picturesque picturesque portion of the trail so far. You just have this gorgeous, gorgeous lake, and then the trail here is just pretty flat uh, with all these pine needles and then moss kind of growing around. So, yeah, this has probably been my favorite little stretch, and everything just smells like balsam fir. So, yeah, this has been an amazing, amazing little portion of trail. But yeah, I'm just going to Rainbow Spring Loon 2. It's been around 10 miles, 10 miles so far. Um, so I'm going to stop there, use the privy, eat some lunch, and then finish up the day, hopefully getting to Wadley Stream uh, with some good amount of time to relax. Lunch was good. Stopped at Rainbow Stream Shelter or Rainbow Stream Lean To. Not sure which one. Um, really nice. It's just a shelter straight in front of us. Really beautiful stream. Uh, and now I'm on my way. Sorry, a million bugs. That's been like the one gripe so far is the constant mosquitoes. Um, I kind of thought I could just out hike them, but somehow they're like just as fast as me. So they're just swarming. So I'm trying to go quick so I don't get eaten. Um, but yeah, I have one really steep climb before the end of my day at uh, Wadley uh, Stream Shelter. Um, I think it's pronounced Nesuntabut, Nesuntabut Mountain, something like that. And it's about a thousand foot climb within a mile or two. So it'll be the steepest climb uh, of all day yesterday and all day today. So I'm gonna do that climb and then I think the shelter is right at the bottom. So I'm steep uphill and downhill and then down to the shelter for the night. Um, I did also stop in a, a stream and just take a little swim about a half hour ago. I didn't film it. I'm not going to put me swimming on the channel. Um, but yeah, it was much needed and there's beautiful streams and like swimming pools everywhere. So it's a good way to cool off, soak my feet for a little bit um, and then get back to it. So, so yeah, just about to start that steep climb and then down to the shelter. So I took a uh, little cut off to the Pollywog Gorge. Can't really even see it down there, but I'm not getting any closer to this edge because it is straight straight down and one thing I really don't like are sheer drop-offs like that um, climbing mountains uh, or hiking mountains I can do but sheer drop-offs and ledges I don't like I don't like bridges ladders nope so I'm not getting any closer to this thing uh, I can see some water down there but view is not amazing. Um, I can hear it though. So I made it to Nesuntabunt Mountain. Yeah, it's only, you know, 1500 feet. But uh, that was definitely the toughest climb since Katahdin the other day. So I think it was again around a thousand or a little under a thousand feet. Um, over the course of a few miles, so yeah, anything with that kind of elevation change is going to be tough. It's also tough as filming, 
getting down rock ledges. <laughs> um, so original plan was to go to uh, Wadley uh, Shelter, but after talking to a few people and also looking at the map, um, there's a beautiful lake with beach sites, so I'm just going to camp on the beach. Um, because if you can camp, if you can camp on the beach, why would you camp, camp in the shelter? Um, seems like a no-brainer to me. So, it is not too late. It's still only about four. So I should be able to get down by the lake in an hour, five o'clock. And then cruise the lake and try and find... I need to refill in water and then find a good, uh, good little spot. So that's a new plan, is beach beach camping for tonight. So I'm at Namakanta Lake. Um, original plan, well, the original plan was to go to Wadley Shelter. Uh, wanted to shoot past that because there was going to be a beach. Beach was full, um, but there's supposedly another campground, but it's too two miles away so it's not a bad walk it's right along the water but it's already been um it's already been a long day uh around 20 20 or so miles 20 actually 22 um so i'm looking forward to getting there closing out the video tonight you can see them at, at a lake uh, got a great campsite at a lake um, right off the beach so I've just been hanging out eating food relaxing by the water um, overall the day was pretty it was a pretty big day it was around 22 ish miles um, and over 3,000 feet of elevation so uh, yeah definitely pushed it a little bit today and I'm I think I'm gonna Take it a little easier tomorrow. Uh, just make sure I can get through the rougher part um, of the 100 mile wilderness, which is towards the latter end. Um, but yeah, hope you all like the uh, sunset. I know I kind of missed it a little bit. Um, and yeah, you can probably barely see me because it's starting to get dark out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good night.